It's been more than 9 months I bought this iPhone 15 Plus and the battery health is still at 100%, despite using the iOS 18 developer beta for over a month, which drains the iPhone battery a lot. Follow these iPhone settings to maintain 100% battery health. Tap on your name on top and tap on personal information. Then select communication preferences and disable all the toggles in the list that fetch data from different apps to send you emails. Go back twice, select the iCloud menu, and tap on iCloud Backup. Disable the backup over cellular option to avoid battery drain and use Wi-Fi instead. Again go back twice, select Media and Purchases menu, and tap on View Account. It will ask for your Face ID or passcode. Then disable the Personalized Recommendation toggle to disable tracking of your app usage activity. Tap on Done and go back to select Cellular Menu. Scroll down, disable both iCloud Backup, and enable Cellular Usage Statistics option to disable cellular usage tracking. Go back and tap on Battery section, then Charging, and disable the Clean Energy Charging option and tap on Turn Off. And I like to set the charging limit to 80%, instead of using optimized battery charging since I do not have any fixed charging schedule. Now go back to the main settings page and tap on General. Select Software Update, then Automatic Updates, and disable both the iOS Updates toggle to avoid bugs in future software updates. Go back twice and scroll down to select the Background app Refresh menu. Select the menu at the top and select the Wi-Fi option. Then go back and disable all the app toggles, to avoid battery drain for background app activities. Now go back to the main settings page and tap on the camera menu, then tap on record video and disable action mode lower light and HDR video toggle. Then tap on auto FPS and select the turn off option. These changes reduces the camera processing during video recording, thereby reducing battery usage. And during photos disable the view outside the frame toggle. Now go back and select the display and brightness menu and disable the True Tone option to disable the tracking of lighting conditions whenever the iPhone screen is turned on. Scroll down, select Auto Lock and select between 3 to 5 minutes because I find the 30 seconds option too quick and annoying. Also disable the Raise to Wake option to avoid accidental screen wake up, thus preventing unwanted battery usage. Now go back and tap on Search Menu and disable all the toggles at the top to disable storage of every search you make on your iPhone. Next setting is related to Siri, which includes tracking app activity for suggestions at the top. To disable it, go to Siri menu, turn off the Suggest Apps before searching toggle. You can also disable all the suggestion options mentioned below. Now if you search on the home screen, there won't be any app suggestion on top, thus providing the minimal look I am aiming for my iPhone 15 Plus. Now go back to the main settings page and disable the standby feature. This setting is optional for Pro models because it has always on display. Next up are the app notifications. Go to Siri menu and disable the Allow Notifications toggle to prevent Siri from running in the background. Then go through all the apps on the list and disable notifications that you do not require, thereby saving battery health. You can also disable test alerts at the bottom. Now go back and select Sounds and Haptics menu and disable Change with Buttons toggle. By leaving the toggle on, I have missed many incoming calls because of low media volume. I recommend turning off the toggle so that the media and ringtone are separated for their respective volumes. Also scroll down to keyboard haptics and disable both the sound and haptic toggle to save battery from using vibration motors and typing sounds while texting. Now go back to the main settings page and select face ID and passcode menu. Type your passcode and scroll all the way down to disable control center toggle so that others cannot change any control settings while your device is locked. Next up is the important menu for battery usage, which is Privacy and Security menu. Tap on Location Service and disable locations for all the apps that don't require your iPhone location, thereby disabling GPS and battery usage. Now scroll down at the bottom and select System Services and disable almost all the toggles by matching my settings. Also turn off the Significant Locations toggle and tap on Clear History option to pause and wipe out all the location data collected by Apple. Now go back and disable all the toggles under Product Improvement to prevent use of location information, thereby saving a lot of battery health in the long run. Now go back and tap on Tracking, disable Individual App toggle to deny app activity tracking. Or disable the toggle at the top to turn off tracking of all the apps present on your iPhone. 
Go back and scroll down to disable all the journaling suggestions toggles, since I do not use the journal app on my iPhone. Also disable all the toggles in the analytics and improvements menu, since these settings are only useful for the developer testers for future iOS updates. Also disable the personalized ads toggle in the Apple advertising menu. Now go back to the main settings page and select the App Store menu, scroll down and select Video Autoplay, and select the Wi-Fi only option. Then swipe back and turn off the in-app ratings and review toggle to disable any review pop-up as soon as you install and use a new app from the App Store. Now go back and there are a few app settings you need to change from the list. The first setting is in the brand new Pro Camera app by Apple, called as Final Cut Camera, where you need to turn off the Reset Identifier toggle to stop sending statistics data each time you open the Final Cut Camera app. Next up is the Notes app, where you need to change the default account to iCloud so that if there is any issue with your iPhone, the Notes will be safe in the iCloud which you can access from another device. Also disable the On My iPhone Account toggle, which also means saving notes in your iCloud. Now go back and open the Photo settings and disable the View Full HDR toggle because we had already disabled the HDR video setting earlier in the camera settings page. Now go back and open the Safari settings and disable the search engine suggestions, Safari suggestions, and preload top hit toggle to avoid usage of Siri running in the background while using the Safari application to gather search data. Scroll down and select the download menu and change it to on my iPhone option so that each time you download any data from Safari, it does not upload it to iCloud Drive thereby saving both iCloud space and battery health. And finally, if there are any lock screen widgets which you do not use, remove it to save battery and disable apps running in the background. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to TechLoper and check out more such iPhone tech perks that work. See you over there.